Storm Eye, you can remember Pop Eye, Prison of Planes, Pop, Storm Eye, Eye, Pop Eye, get it? Little thing to help you remember. It's the Storm's Eye that will take you closest to Prison of the Plains, which is right up there, the Astrolabe. another one that can be a little tricky to solo you do need to have an extra body that can pull a lever if you're a druid or an artificer you can use your wolf iron defender i suppose you can use a skeleton uh if you're a pale master i think that can pull a lever. I, i've never played a pale master so i don't really know for sure but i think it can and of course you can use a hireling which is what i'll be doing And the solution for the levers at the top, right here, down, down, up, up. Just like Scorpion's Fatality in Mortal Kombat 1. Or was it 2? Well, one of the two. I think I'm going to switch to Chain Shape. Got some archers here and some casters that don't want to kite neatly together. Probably should un put should put spell absorption on for that famine reaper, but I'm gonna be lazy. If you enjoy stepping up the skulls, Giant Hold tends to be easier than other quests of its level range by maybe a couple of skulls in the early days of Reaper mode when we were trying to step it up. I remember we would always do this one a little bit higher than others. Not, I mean, this, this pack higher than others, not this particular quest, all the quests. All right, if you can unlock doors, you can just unlock it. But if you can't, then you got to go back down and talk to... Shasa. And you can intimidate the key out of him. We do have high intimidate, so intimidating him should be not a problem.
These are the levers that we have to do Scorpion's Fatality on. I'm just going to do Focused Blast since this is just one mini boss guy. Down, down, up, up. And then you pull this valve to register the combination, and we're good to go. That brings down this barrier. Drop to the bottom, and grab the one orb that's down here. And now we can start doing the prison cells. I'm going to show you something here. I want to show you how you are, uh, your wolf or your iron defender or your hirelings, your kleptomaniacs, okay? You ever come in here and you're like, oh, you know, you come in here and you're like, I'm going to have them pull the thing, you know? Get them to stand here. Come on, stand here. All right, I'm going to get him to pull a thing. All right, I'm in here now. I'm going to hit the gears and have him pull a thing. And you're like, wait a minute. What, why Why didn't it do? And then you're, you come out here and you're like, what's wrong with you? And then, oh, wait. I, it didn't demonstrate what I wanted to. I think, there we go. That's what I wanted to demonstrate. Is that he, <laughs> he can actually take the orb. Okay, see, the orb is missing. So if they, if my demonstration to work out properly i would have come out here and been like hey where's the orb gosh what oh i probably forgot it and then i would click it and then it, it would then i'd be like okay it's not in my inventory then i would run back did i forget to pull it out and then it wouldn't be there and i'd be like what's wrong here the quest is bugged or something but the reality is your higher link stole it and instead of having the lever targeted i had the ancient receptor targeted and so they just took it out so he just targeted it again hit the gears and he puts it right back in You can only do this room if you're lawful. You just have to answer the questions the way a lawful character would. If that's too hard for you, you can look at the, at the answers on Wiki. Pay taxes on the true amount of your windfall. Follow the orders and do my duty. That's what a lawful character would say. Turn him back with violence if you must. I will protect it and honor with honor and steadfastness. All right. Every time you complete a room, you'll get two orbs from the back. You need to have six orbs. Target the switch. Tell your hireling to hit it. Good to go. I'm just going to do chain shape. What the hell? Go, Larry. Fire room, no sweat ace. I'm just gonna do blue fire shield. Stick the thing in the thing, tell him to hit the switch once you're in here. Make sure you put him on pass him, otherwise you pass it, otherwise he's gonna try to uh, come in here and help you. And then he's gonna die because he's running into the barrier. So my shield got the spell. That barrier does electric damage. See? No big whoop to us, but you know, to your hireling, who's just running into the barrier over and over, it'll kill them. Or your wolf. Or whatever.
I'll do chain shape again. Fear Reaper. I need to get kissing distance. There will always be two chests in the cells. Or I should say two of the cells will have chests and it's random. And there's different named items that come out of the different cells. I don't think there's anything too relevant by today's standards. Do I have probably five? Yep, one more. Okay, we're good to go. Let's see. We can, yeah, we can get rid of the hireling at this point. If you want, you could park him at the top by the lever, but it's, it's just, we can just go up there ourselves. Yeah, you just gotta put the six orbs into the receptor. Some of the receptors already have burnt out orbs in them, so you just, Skip those. Like that one has a burnt out orb and I just skip it. Boom, we're completely powered up. Now we're gonna go to the top. this to activate the final chamber. Area will come up in 10 seconds. I'm going to go ahead and do, I guess I'll just do focus blast. I don't really need to kill the trash. Right, you gotta touch the ancient docent once, but uh, just once. You touch it again, then you'll die. It's a gag that sometimes people play on new players and tell them, oh, you need that docent, grab it, you know, just to get them killed. And talk to this guy to finish it. Right now we've done all the flaggers, we can go back to giant hold. Now we can turn him in and do a tour. Right after turning them all in, I can now talk to Crag. And it gives us tour. A lot has happened in the game since I made the last episode. We got the the new archetypes that came out. Just came out the the cleric, uh, dark apostate, and the paladin, sacred fists, red storm singer. We'll do 
No, I can do I can do bursty burst for this. This stuff should generally kite together. Those giants, those fire giants are casters though. So they might be cooperative. Yeah, we'll do chain sheep. And there's a shrine there if you need it. Don't like the shrine. But we don't have to, so we can hold on to our depravity counters. picking on kobolds. I'll go ahead and put on my spell absorption for the famine and now take it off. And talk to such a snutch. Snatch and such.
right here is a little hidden passage. I remember when I was new, I thought this door was supposed to open or something, but there's a little hidden passage in these rocks for you to squeeze through. You just got to click on that, and that's what gets you through. I think I'll go back to chain shape. jump chest we'll make him the same deal if he follows he dies if he wants to stay there he can live there I think this is his home. He can be the one to rebuild. Same thing over here. This door does not open. You just got to click a little hidden passage there. Now we just wait for this guy to become vulnerable. Crash continuously respawns. No big whoop. Theodore out of here. Now we're flagged for the raid, Reaver's Fate. And we're going to wrap it up with this one just for funsies. No reason, no real reason to do it, this raid, uh, you know, these days. But it's actually not bad XP per minute. It is very soloable. I just want to demonstrate that. But the loot in it is just, it's irrelevant. I can't think of anything that anybody would want really anymore. Now, you're going to want to stay when you're fighting this guy. You're going to want to stay at the edge because he's going to do this anti-gravity effect and 
if he tosses you up in the middle up there there's a bunch of spikes and you, you know they hurt and you don't want to be anywhere away from the wall really because they're are kind of like uneven blocks or blocks that are beveled and if you hit them the wrong way it's just going to send you flying you're going to lose control thanks to DDO physics and it just has a, a way of just shooting you up into the garbage disposal up there when you die in this raid, you can't be raised through normal means. I'm going to switch the chain shape now and take care of those air alleys. Your soul stone appears in the penalty box up there through that blue barrier. And the only way to get people out before the end of the raid is to have somebody fly up. You can get fly later on. And they fly t to the east and they pull a lever that lets the soul stones out and then people can be raised. They'll also be let out at the end of the raid. Now right now what's happening is we don't want to kill the boss. What we're waiting for is for him to light all the orbs or to get all the orbs spinning up there. Periodically he's going to send like an orb of electricity, a ball of electricity up towards those orbs and that'll get them spinning. I think he he just do it? I couldn't tell. I think he did the one right above us. That one, he already did that one. Whenever he does the corner ones, if, the, if his little energy ball goes to the corner orbs, then it spawns these air elementals. Insta kills are nice. They do have pretty high DCs, so you need to have some pretty serious DCs to take them out. Or you can just de DPS them. Air elementals can be a pain though, because they can knock you around quite a bit. Switch to Focus Blast, and he just knocked me out just when I hit both my spell power boosts. You don't want to get knocked up into the center. It can be pretty painful. Nothing you can do except for wait for the effect to wear off, and then you go down. This is a timed raid, it's basically 20 minutes. The timer doesn't show in the quest box like a typical timed quest. It's actually, if you look at the wall up there in the back, you see there's like a countdown timer. It's basically like a base nine abacus that's that's counting down where the right hand side is like the one's position, the next column over is like, would be the nine's position, and the next column over would be the 81's position, and so on, you know, instead of one, 10, 100, 1,000, it's one, nine, 81 and then whatever nine times 81 is I'm not here to teach you how to to count in alternate m number systems I'm just letting you know that that's a timer and you can kind of abstractly see how much time is left By looking at the wall up there <laughs> Hit my spell power boost again So he gets all the orbs lit, then he's gonna get start giving us fly. And start dishing out fly to random folk. I'm the only folk in here, so he'll be giving me fly. See his energy ball goes up and hits the orb. It lights it. It was a corner one, so it spawned air elementals see they're starting to come over so I'll switch to chain shape and we got two rounds of air elementals active now so that could be a little this could get a little hairy because I don't have high DPS this will take me a pretty good amount of time. Having two rounds of air elementals out like that kind of sucks.
Uh, we just chain shape off of the Storm Reaver. It'd be no big whoop. Now, once we get fly, we're gonna need to fly up through the hole in the ceiling, and we're gonna we're going to fly through kind of a simple maze of spikes. Again, they can be pretty painful, so you want to be careful. And we're going to fly up to the west. Remember earlier I said you can fly up to the east and you can let people out. Oh, are they all lit? Look at that. You can fly up to the east and you can let people out of the um, penalty box. But you need to fly up to the west to pull the kill lever. And the noob mistake is that people will fly up, fly to the end, they get to a room, they pull a lever, and they're like, okay, I pulled the lever, kill the giant, and then you kill the giant, and then the, the raid doesn't advance because that wasn't the kill lever. The kill lever is to the west. Both In both ways, it's basically, it looks the same. It's a maze of spikes. There's a little room at the end and a lever. But if you go to the east, that lever is to let people out of the penalty box. To the west is this lever, and this is the kill lever. There's plenty of time if you fly up here right away to pull the lever and get back. It's very easy to get disoriented. You know, we're not used to flying. There's not too many places in DDO where you can fly. It's very easy to lose your bearings. So, you know, try not to uh, get turned around. This is how people drown, you know. The waves flip you around and you can't tell which way's up. Okay, so now because I pulled that kill lever, it's safe to kill him. If you didn't pull the kill lever when you after you kill him, that blue barrier right there to let you into the puzzle room would not come down. And then you would just you wouldn't be able to advance and it would just time out and blow up. When the time runs out, the raid blows up and everybody dies. Do focus blast and I need to I need to change shape to get rid of those air alleys. He's not even close enough to that air elemental for the chain to hit. So I'll just do focus blast. Take a look at the wall. Looks like I have plenty of time. No time to dawdle. That's what Salima said. It's kind of slow, but it's a fun challenge to solo this. And like I said, it's actually the XP per minute isn't bad. And it's fun just to kind of mix it up, do something different. Soloing a raid is a good experience. Builds character, skills, discipline. Okay, maybe not discipline, but maybe, but maybe not. <laughs> it's one of the two, that much we can be sure. Plus, you get to fly. How often do you get to fly in DDO? You know, not very often. I had some spell power potions left over from... I can't remember why I bought those. Something earlier where I felt like I needed a little extra oomph. So I figured I'd drink them here. Because, yeah, I don't have all day. Right? I mean, the time's running out. I've got guild raids in four minutes. I'm trying to get this done in a hurry. <laughs> I do. I actually have... I have to leave guild raids in four minutes from now. So I'm really pressing it here. The tainted spell casting. I already used all my Reaper spell power boosts. If you didn't have all the orbs lit, you know, you don't want to take them down any more than about this at the most. He actually will disappear on you. Uh, before he hits zero. 
So if you ha if you're in a situation where you're prepping them because you you know you get a lot of DPS, you know I would say you know, don't take them down lower than about 10% health. All right, there we go. Now we got a little mastermind puzzle to do, and I can't teach you how to do this puzzle. I don't know how to do it. The good news is you don't need to know how to do it. I don't know how to do it, and I'm going to get it done. I'm just going to use the uh, Cubicle Ninja Puzzle Solver. And the Cubicle Ninja Puzzle Solver says, try 1122 as your combination. So you just click the skulls to set the combination. You're basically just looking up. You're looking for a four-digit combination, and each... Each digit can be one through six. You pull the lever to register the combination, and then there's your little clue. I have two black orbs and one white orb. When you get it wrong, you're gonna get air elemental. So when you're soloing, you know, this gets a little tricky. Unless you don't have a lot of DPS, you get air elementals all over the place. Knocking you around, making it hard to enter the combination. I don't even have the solver up yet. Jeez, oh, Pete, I'm not prepared. So I had two and two. I entered two and two, and now it says try one, two, one, three. All right, we'll just leave those guys. One, two, one, three. And we pull the lever to register the combination. Now it says we have one black orb up there and two white so we enter that into the solver a little arcane tempest action there help out a little bit maybe maybe they blew it away with their wind i don't know if arcane tempest can be blown away with like a gust of wind but I cast it, it's on timer, and I didn't see it, so I think they just blew it away. Okay, so now I'm going to enter that I have one black and two white thingy dingies up there. So two white, one black. Now it says try two, one, one, two. It says this move will solve your puzzle. Sweet, we got a pretty easy one. Two. One, one, two, give it to me. All right, it's got about 40,000 XP in 13 minutes and 52 seconds. Hell yeah, good times. Hey, thanks for watching. As always, you got any questions about the video, you can make a comment. Or you can stop by Twitch channel. Monday through Friday, 9 a.m., 3 p.m. Eastern. Sometimes I go a little bit later. And we'll see you soon.